Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley for tuning in for the first time and today I present to you this beautiful kinky straight lace wig. We're gonna be doing a full install. We're gonna focus on the hairline today and cutting off the excess lace, also binding it down. I'm gonna do a half up, half down and this was the style I ended with at the very end. So if you're interested in getting all the deets on this one, keep on watching. Jumping right into it, this is the box and the wig straight out of the pack. This is a look at the inside construction of the cap. She has 18 inches, 150% density. They did send over a medium size cap and any additional information of course is listed in the description box. So as mentioned, this is a new trend. This is the kinky hairline. It mimics 4C edges. This is the texture of the hair and how good it looks from the back. It's nice and super full. Even though it's only 150% density, it does give va va voom straight out of the box, but you can always silk press it. Here is a look at the hairline. As I mentioned, these do replicate 4C hair edges. And as you guys can see, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just play with them and make baby hair out of them. I'm also gonna do a bust down center part. Loving how much parting space you get. You can part from the center, you can part from the sides, you can do half up, half down. You definitely have the freedom to part how you want. Here's how the wig will look like in a ponytail. I love this look on me. For now, I'm going to go ahead and just do a half up, half down. I want to work on the install and cutting the lace with you guys and go into detail. But first, let's go ahead and make the wig cap match our complexion, kind of like a little bit of a camouflage using our foundation powder to just buff in. I also buff that same powder into the lace underneath. So forgive the color if it is a little bit off, but trust me, when it comes together, it's going to be perfect. Now here I am cutting off the excess lace around the ears. Now here I am bonding the wig down. I did go for the even and I'm just going to do the easiest way to bond a wig down which is to apply the wig to your head, position it how you want it and then apply your adhesive. I also find that doing two layers of this glueless adhesive will make it stick a little bit harder. So here I've done the first layer and while that kind of starts to get a little bit dry, I'm going to go in and cut off those excess lace. Pretty much it's like the lace fits over my ear so I cut the extra off so that the wig fits like a glove around the ear. Hopefully that makes sense. Now that the wig is tacky it's in place, not to mention it does fit nice and snug, I'm going to go ahead and work on bonding it down. I did go in a little bit extra with the product around the sideburn area just because this is my area that tends to lift the fastest and easiest literally. All the time now let's go ahead and cut off the excess lace we can rewind if we want or you can just watch I usually like to cut the lace down the center all the way up to where the hair begins and then I'll take the scissors and just take my time going from you know where we started all the way around to it ends I like to take small little snips a lot of the times because I really just don't want to make a mistake and cut too much and as you guys can see that's painless now here's the thing, I did apply the wig with the even and I applied it on top of the lace. Unfortunately, that made the baby hair get hard a little bit. So I did go in and try to like comb it out and kind of flat iron it out to get that product out of there. So for you, I recommend that if you purchase this wig, go ahead and apply the adhesive under the lace directly onto the skin and put the wig on top that way it won't make the the baby hair hard we have to like comb it out if that makes any sense so at this point the wig is bonded down we did use our bidet beauty products as far as the wax stick and the edge control to lay the baby hair as well as lay the hairline now originally I put it in a half up half down when I picked up my daughter. We went and did some shopping for Red Ribbon Week at school. Now I'm back and I'm taking it down and I really want to flatten out the lace area. As beautiful as this wig is, there's a little bit too much volume in the parting. Just naturally, you can use product to lay that down or you can use heat. I opted for heat but I knew that if I would have just went for my heat passes at the center parting it wouldn't get as flat as I want so I did go in and section it out on each side I did about three different sections applying a generous amount of the wax stick and then going over top with the electric hot comb 
You guys know this is my dynamic duo, my favorite way to just flatten out the parting and the hairline and make everything super flat. But I am going to keep the texture. See, look how much of a difference that makes. I did the opposite side off camera, and as you guys can see, it was definitely needed. Now I'm going to go ahead and flat iron the hair just a little bit, and this is the look. Absolutely flat, absolutely neat, and beautiful hairline. Let me know what you think. Okay, love bugs. I feel like it looks so pretty. I've been loving my looks lately with no lashes, just mascara. I don't know if it's just because I wear such dramatic lashes. Be sure to check out my site, bdagbeauty.com, for my lash book if you are into the dramatic look. But as we already know, this one came from Genius Wig. This is their uh, signature packaging here inside of our box. Wow. So this is their dust bag. It has a nice weight to it. Usually they're a little bit thinner and flimsy, but the fabric on this one is nice and like kind of luxurious and a little bougie. I want you to be able to see their logo is on it. It's very monochromatic, so I'm sorry if you can't really see it. Let's see if we turn it down. Yeah, you can't really see it as much um, on camera, but um, it is there. Then they also gave a nice little twilly. These are perfect because especially since I have my edges and um, a glueless install, this is going to help. I can just tie my hairline down any and everywhere to keep it down, especially when I'm out in public with the kids. Just tie your hair down, sis. They did give me an elastic band. This is nice to add to the inside to make the wig fit a little bit more snug. Um, a dolphin clip, a, what is this called, baby hairbrush, and a pack of wig caps. They also did give me a nice handwritten note. I always keep the handwritten notes um, from Genius Wig because they always are just so, so sweet. So one of the things they talked about in the note was how um, a lot of people are still not um, very confident with cutting the lace. So I did slow the video down and go more in de into detail about cutting the lace. Hopefully you guys were able to get that and then how I bond the wig down with just a glueless adhesive. As you see, this one right here is hairspray formula. But it's meant to bond or but we use it to bond our wigs down i wanted to do um it down because i want you guys to see what it looks like to wear a beautiful wig like this out in its natural state now you guys seen when you part it initially it's a little bit scary because the hairline or like the lace part is very like big and full it matches the ends but that's what makes it look like a costume wig or just your auntie's wig it makes it look a lot more scary when you do the big 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 root but the key to it because it's so full is to just go in and section it maybe into two or three sections i did three um i did add the wax stick you can add whatever product you want or you don't have to add product at all i just like mine to you know just be perfect so i did that you guys see the hair does relax it still has the same um kinky texture so you don't lose the texture you just get a more flat out um pressed out look so that it looks more like a really good wig install pose so you're just having a hat on your head i like how full and long it is um, but you can go in and section it just like i did the top and soak it out and you can get a thinner look because i wanted to keep the big look i did um, run over it with the flat iron just to kind of pull out the like kinks and um, bends and waves that I put in it from putting it in a bun and just kind of smooth it out but I didn't really want to manipulate or relax the temper the, the texture let me know what you guys think Kiki straight is not for everybody but obviously it mimics African American texture most so you know it's for us obviously so if you're interested in this one I do have a direct link in the description box let me know what you guys think thank you guys so much for watching and as always I'll see you in the next one smooches